How's it going guys? We are back in my video here and this video is going to be gonna, kind of going over the objectives in HUT for NHL 24 and these two latest objectives that they have actually released, I'm really not understanding them and I think they're very ridiculous for what you have to do. I'm going to you know show you guys these and you, you know probably about them but if you don't I'm going to kind of fill you in if you've been playing HUT but make sure you guys leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already, and let's hop into this video right now. 24, they added Objectives 2.0. So if you guys don't know what Objectives 2.0 is, it's basically the ability for objectives to track specific things, right? And specific things as in, you know, say, uh, you know, I guess X factors, ex specific cards doing something, right? Uh, and, and certain things. And so instead of like score goals, you know, take shots, you know, stuff like that, right? They added the ability, you know, to have an objective of win face-offs, get assists, take snapshots, score, you know, top left goals, bottom left goals, all that stuff, right? So, like, okay, I mean, that's not really a, a huge problem when it's, like, you know, low amounts, but my thing is this. So, they added that in. Cool. It's awesome. I think what the biggest thing is that I have a problem with is the fact that they went too hardcore in the other way of, just making it specifically top left corner goals. I think what would really be the better way to approach objectives would be scoring goals, you know, getting assist. Uh, even, I would even say shots is fine uh, with specific cards, right? Or players. I think that's more reasonable because, you know, that's more fun because you can get that naturally and organically. I don't think you should ever force your player base to specifically shoot for top right corner goals which is not easy because there's some, there's some luck involved in that because sometimes it doesn't register either. Uh, but it really just drove me insane when I saw this, guys. It I it drove me insane. When I when I saw this, Dr. Mario, you know, I, I was thinking about punching him. I really was. But you know what? I, I don't know. It just pissed, it just pissed me off so much. And I'm going to show you guys the objectives. You, you know what I'm talking about. Mario, you're safe for this video. May, maybe if EA, they, if they drive me over the top, over over the over my limit if i reach my limit then maybe dr mario gets it these new objectives here so specifically the fantasy hockey ones and the week two of the 30th anniversary of nhl 94 ones so let's look at the fantasy hockey ones first of all so i understand fantasy collectibles fantasy msps yes they have value these cards could be 99 overall i understand 100% it's valuable, but it's not even like if you complete these objectives you get enough collectibles to make the fantasy card You know what I mean? Like that's the funny part of it all like you're not guaranteeing yourself anything That's what's just so silly about it. Uh, so as you can see hip checks 45 it's not like hip checking is impossible. It's, it's not obviously if you go into like squad battles rookie uh, You know just just if you have total control on it, it's a lot easier to just hold X uh, and you just can easily do that. But it's still going to take a lot of time. Uh, that's only one fancy collectible, by the way. One. Uh, deflection goals. 20 of them. And yes, I understand there's ways to score deflection goals. But again, that's some luck as well. Just because you shoot from the point doesn't mean you're going to get a deflection and it's going to go in. Because the goalie can make the save. The deflection could not register. There's just a lot that could happen for this not to work. And again, two collectibles we're, we're getting from this rebound goals again you gotta basically change how you play uh to earn this or or you just gotta get lucky and you know go into offline and just try to like spam spam the goal it, it's just it's just very silly i i don't agree the toe drag shots okay that's that's fine and it's funny because toe drag shots is probably one of the easiest ones here and you actually get the one of the most amount of collectibles it makes no sense score one timer goals that's another one that there's some variables into that because sometimes they don't consider like a one timer goal that like it doesn't always recognize that's the problem too guys like these objectives is one thing how hard they are it's another thing how like, they don't even get like actually like picked up sometimes by the game that it's actually a one timer or that it's actually a rebound or it's actually a deflection that's a big problem there so like yes is it great that they're giving these objectives out yes but the biggest problem is they're very, very challenging to actually achieve. So, I, I honestly, I'm telling you guys right now, I'm, I'm asking you guys right now, in the comment section down below, how many of you guys have completed all of these fantasy ones? Even, if you tell me if you've completed the deflection one or uh, even the, the rebound one. Let me know. I'm, I'm very curious. Oh, but if that wasn't bad enough, guys, if that wasn't bad enough, we have the NHL 94 anniversary objectives week two, and these really were ridiculous too. 
you know, you're like, all right, wait a minute. Okay, hear me out. I'm, I'm interested. Free 94 overall Joel Otto. Decent card. Like 6'4", 94 speed Nick Sally. This card's not bad. I mean, 220. Uh, he's got decent abilities. Born leader, goal close quarters. Pretty decent shot here as well. Like, uh, like okay, like I'm not mad. Like, hey, you know what? I probably wouldn't use this card. I know people would though. And like, hey, I'm down for grindable cards. Like, that's what we want. We want cards for just playing the game. That's how it should be. 95 face-offs. You know, could get uh, pretty much, yeah, he can get 99 face-offs as well. This is a good card. It really is. But let's see the objectives, though, guys. The objectives. What, what, what are we talking here, yeah? What are we talking? You're like, all right, wait a minute. Win four games. An 87 overall. Thanks. That doesn't take anything, guys. Winning four games in Rivals, Hut Champs, Squab House. That's simple. All you guys will get that done. So, I mean, props for that. Like, I'll, I'll be honest. An 87 for basically doing nothing. Okay, that's that's good. Play nine games, whatever, an event collectible, sure. You know, open six dailies, an event collectible, whatever. Event collectibles don't really have too much value, but perform any deke, whatever. That's not bad for an actual player pack. Okay, like, these aren't unrealistic. I'm having problems with these. Get shoulder checks, 300's a lot. 300's a lot. Uh, it, I think a big problem, too, is I don't think people like having to change their whole team around to try to get these objectives done. That's another issue, unfortunately, I think people run into. A lot of people have to, like, go into squad battles and kind of just make all these MSPs and just try to try to just get them, you know, get them on the squad here. And, and I understand for sure, like, it's it's not that bad if you do squad battles, but some of these are ridiculous. Get sweep checks. I mean, that's kind of annoying too, but it's not terrible. Take back in shots. Okay, 175 for any lead pack. I'm not, that's fine. That's not unreasonable. Uh, get assist. You know, no problem with that. 64 is not even that bad either. That's that's not unrealistic. Score bottom right corner goals with NHL 94 anniversary player items. And guys, 55. 55 of these you need to score. I mean, it's just when I saw this, I, I just knew. I I just knew. After Mario had to get it. And I mean, I don't want to do this. And and it's what EA does to me. I mean, Dr. Mario, like he didn't deserve that. And and this is the problem, guys. 55 is crazy, and I want I want you guys to let me know if you've done this as well. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Score one-timer goals, the same thing as a fantasy thing, guys. As I mentioned, it's very challenging because sometimes it doesn't get recognized as a one-timer, and then you just you just wasted your time doing it. It's just, it gets so frustrating. Score goals, whatever. No problem with that. No problem with scoring goals. That's fine. Scoring goals is, is easy. Complete 50 games. All right, whatever. It, just put as many in the lineup as you can. It'll stack. That's fine. That's not too bad. Power collectible. Complete 80 games. Complete 94 games. Whatever. Just put as many cards as you can in your lineup. The problem with event a little bit, though, is... Uh, it's a little bit challenging uh, to get a lot on your own because a lot of these cards are high overall, but they do give you an 87 one in objectives anyway, so there's one already on your team. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's not... I don't, Some of these objectives are fine. I just think they should have really... When it came to Objective 2.0 this year, I think what they really should have done was made it more so score goals with, you know, certain, certain cards. That's fine. Score assist. Points is fine. Shots is fine. Games played is fine, as long as it's not like an insane amount. I don't like the specific things you have to do in terms of like scoring in a certain spot. I don't like that because there's some luck into that. And that's very frustrating because I was actually doing the Taylor Hall moments, guys, as well recently. Bad. I don't know. Maybe I'm just bad. Uh, this one was easy. The, the hard trophy winner, that was fine. Uh, this one I just couldn't do, though. I, I was trying. I, I kept trying to score, to score top shelf with Hall. I would keep scoring and it would be like in the in the middle left. It, it wouldn't be top shelf. Like it would just I would be just missing and I wouldn't be recognizing and I was getting frustrated. This one okay, I was able to actually do it, the top left corner. But it's, it's just interesting how it's like a difference. Uh this one, this one I was actually able to do as well, bottom left corner goals. But again, this took me a long time. Four, by the way. Four I had to do this on. So yes, I know it's on superstar, so yes, it's a little bit harder. But like it just it, it's it, the specific things I just don't like. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this. But to me, it's a very, uh, it's a big mess. I, I just don't think they should have made Objectives 2.0 like this. That's just my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, that was just really a rant video. It's more just like a, you know, EA. Hopefully they listen and, and consider changing the way they do these things. How do, how do you guys feel about it? Do you like the certain, like, bottom left corners? Do you like having to do specific challenges? Do you think it's a fun challenge? I don't know. I... Maybe I'm a baby. I don't know. You guys can let me know. I'm just, this is just how I feel. I'm going to just be honest and make a video. This is what it's, you know, I was thinking about uh, the last few days. And 
And I feel like I wasn't, you know, the only one that was really thinking this. I mean, I made a tweet as well. This is my tweet uh, from Friday saying, no way EA is asking us to score 55 bottom right corner goals with 94 anniversary cards. And, you know, Dino Chris is a great YouTuber herself. One timer is definitely too hard with how the game is designed. Uh, just don't do it, they said. Um, you have people saying, why are you still playing this game instead of MLB? Better than top shelf goals, I guess. That's fair. Tell them to change it. They asked, but I'm going to ignore it and say that auto isn't good enough for all that work. They can't let go of those bottom bottom or top goals for bad cards. Surely they're going to drop that 55 number. That's why I stopped playing HUD a month ago. The one-timer one is busted too. No way people do that. Oh, well, all right. Grinding is a waste of time. There's new cards every week or two. By the time you finish your objectives, you won't want the card. There's zero point to it. They should have, just, they should have all alumni go up to 99. You can All right, that's a little bit crazy maybe. But the point is, guys, people are frustrated with it. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, comment down below. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already. And follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live every single day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. And you get three E's. And be sure to join my Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.